Good morning and welcome back to another episode. Today we are heading off from Aaron's parents' house in Sydney and going south. So we'll show you what we get up to, but at this stage we have a little free camp that we've got in mind down south in Victoria. It's currently about 4am. Um, you can probably hear Aaron outside drilling up the legs because we're literally just about to take off. Let's go grab a coffee. So we've been driving for probably a couple of hours, hour and a half maybe. So I'd just pull over, check if the bearings are getting hot or anything. Quick walk around, make sure it's all okay. First fill up, nice and cheap today at $1.93.9 I think it is. So we just um, pulled into Tarkata just to make some morning tea. Have a look around the town a little bit quickly. Take the dog for a walk. Small little town. There's shelters with barbecues, a nice playground for the kids to play in if you've got kids. There's a war memorial over here, plenty of bins. They've got bathrooms as well. This is the Truck Drivers Memorial. We are at Albury now and our first stop is Reese because we went to use our water um, off grid at lunch time to make a wrap and Aaron will tell you more about it when he gets back from the shop but yeah just wanted to document this moment to let you guys know another problem with our hot water system or water in general not hot water this time anyways Aaron will explain more and show you guys how he fixes it later tonight so you would have seen me fit the pressure reducing valve yesterday it didn't have a one-way valve in it so it works great on mains but when we want to use our tanks it blows out water out of the tap so picked up this from reese it's a one-way valve so i'm gonna fit that now as you can see i pulled it all apart ready to go pretty much this is going to go in here between the tap and the valve and then that'll stop the flow of water going back out so it'll work coming in but not out make sure you put it the right way so the arrow's there so put it that way so the water can go through but won't allow it to go back that way
You might think, how do you bake a cake on the road? Well, I use my rice machine, especially when we're off grid and it's too hot to do the barbecue and everything. We just chuck in the rice machine. So I'm gonna show you how. I've got this cake mix and my handy dandy rice machine. The rice machine pulls 950 watts at peak. So for us with a 2000 watt inverter, it works out fine. Um, and there's no dramas. It usually takes about half an hour to 45 minutes. So it's not peaking for that whole time either. Um, so yeah, I'll show you guys. But basically, this is the pot for the rice machine that the rice cooks in. It's non-stick as well. So you don't even have to worry about in a mixing bowl or anything. I just chuck it all in here. <laughs> We're cheating with a cake mix. But anyways, let's ignore that. We've got our cake mix, rice bowl, pop it all in just angled you guys down so you can see better but yeah there's the cake mix and then we need two eggs eggs let's hope for no shell egg two no shell perfect <laughs> I do have cups and teaspoons with me because um, I do do a lot of cooking, like baking, cooking. So we need two thirds of a cup of milk. That's this one. one. Two. The eggs. And the milk now we need butter so we just use natalex vegan is squeaking it's just aaron he's fixing our hot water <laughs> four spoons of butter oh how satisfying is a new butter so like a bit of asma asmr <laughs> one Three. My whisk and I just whisk it all together. That is all mixed together and I officially have gorilla arms, but anyways, so I'm gonna put it in the rice cooker now. I won't show you guys because it's all like hidden the inverter and stuff, but turn the inverter on. I like to cook with the inverter out in daylight just in case, um, especially if it's starting to get low or anything like that. But at the moment we're fully charged with being on power and tomorrow we're on power, so it's fine. Um, but normally I like to do it when we're in daylight just so the extra solar can kick in. Um, but anyways, I'll show you guys in about 40 minutes. So cake's ready. Apparently I haven't checked it yet, so we'll check it together. Might need a bit longer, I'm not too sure. Yeah, um, smells good. So there you have it. This was just a lemon vanilla, I think it was. A lemon something. The packet was up there. <laughs> it was a lemon something cake. But yeah, I think once you chuck some icing on it, it should be good. Sometimes it goes a bit more brown on top, but obviously not today. But yeah, happy with that. We'll do the spring test. Oh, she's ready. Before it got too late, I thought I'd show you our camp for tonight. It's at Ebden Reserve in Ebden, Victoria. Bloody beautiful. There's a few birds flying past as well. It's a car with the new wheels and roof rack. It's a van. Just an overnighter, so still hooked up, no awning out. It's not a hundred percent level, so just on a leveling ramp as well. Here's Miss Ginger seeing what's going on. Ginge. Hello. Go to the water, Ginge.
It's meant to be a few trout in here. But not at the moment with all the rain they've had, they said. There's a boat ramp over there as well. It's a beautiful spot. So we're in Colac, Victoria. Um, we've just pulled over to get some petrol and make some lunch because we're banging. So I've just grated, not grated, I've just peeled some carrot, washed some lettuce and cut up some spring onion. I've also got some ham um, and cheese, mustard and kewpie mayo. So we've got all that. I'm going to make up some wraps now and yeah. That's what we're going to have for lunch. Good or terrible? Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we make generally, something along that line for lunch. So ham, salad, whatever we've got in the fridge, um, really good for a quick lunch. And we can jump in the car now with this and keep going. Easy, cheap, yeah. Don't mind the noise, we just rolled into camp, so I thought I'd show you our site. Nothing too special, we got the Emro mat which is the best, we love it. We have recently started working with them. We have a discount code below. It's just Wilson's works site wide. So we got our two seats, a dog bed. We got the side and front privacy screens this time. Garbage bag, our weather. So we're cooking up a storm on Sunday for Christmas. And that's the beast. The new roof racks with storage box on the back and our LSP drop hitch. Be good if you make the bump stop. Can't do that. <laughs> sure. Smooth road please. <laughs>